I got two drinks. It's so late right now and I'm gonna make some, I don't even know what this is, lunch, breakfast, dinner. I went to Blackpink last night, so I was like in the line the whole day basically and that was a mission and a half, so I woke up super late today, so I'm making myself some food now. I'm gonna make some young for breakfast. You have to cook the noodles first. Fill it up to about that much. And then what you do is you close the lid. Okay, noodles are done. Now we have to add in all of the sauces. This is my favorite one because the original one is like a bit too spicy for me, but this one is just perfect. Not too spicy, but just enough spice. Oh my God, I'm so excited to eat this. Like that just looks so good. Mm. So recap of what happened yesterday, I went to Blackpink, which is so exciting. I got VIP 3, I lined up at like 12 midday, we got inside around like 3.30, waited for sound check until 6, and then the show started at 8pm, so that was like a full like 10 hour day, mm. and my body just like failed on me today, I was like nope. trying to eat all my cream cheese. Morning guys, it's pretty. I want to have breakfast with you guys and update you of the happenings of my life because I feel like it's been a while. I've actually been gone for a little while, although I've been posting my channel and you guys have probably seen, I was planning on moving and I'm still thinking about moving. I'm not 100% sure yet if I will be moving at the moment I am staying at my place right now. I love this place. The only reason I was looking to move was because I wanted more filming space. I'm starting a new channel really soon. Ideally it would be nice to have an extra room, although I feel like I'm gonna make do for the meantime because there has not been a really good viable option and rent has been really expensive. That's my big update on moving at the moment. More about my new channel slash content that I'm gonna be making. So I really wanna try story times and I'm trying to figure out if I wanna make a whole separate channel for that or if I wanna try post some of that stuff here and see how you guys like it and then make a new channel because I'm really nervous about setting up a whole new channel on its own. I really want to show you guys my cats as well because I haven't shown you them in I feel like a moment. Hey Nubbles! Hey! This is my very first cat that I got last year. She actually loves me the most. She's very needy. This is Mittens. She's my little orange cat and I got her at the same times as Nubs. You really like the smell of that, don't you? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is my newest baby who isn't so new anymore because she's like seven, eight months old now. She's looking cute. I had to cut all her chin hair off as well recently because her hair literally was all knotted down here and I had to like chop it all off. But yeah. These are all of my cat babies. Oh, is that Nobs? She's such an attention seeker. I walk over to pick up the rest of the laundry and Mitz is just licking all of the cream cheese off my bread. I managed to save this piece though, but I'm pretty sure she licked these two corners. Mitz, please. I'm trying to find a new show right now. If anyone has any recommendations, please let me know. It's a lot later and I'm about to head out and this is my outfit for tonight. All the cats are being so chaotic because they know that mom is leaving. I'm sorry, guys. I got a little handful of chocolates because I'm kind of hungry and I need to go pick up my brother and my sister. And then we're gonna go kick in, which is this restaurant. And they do like these seafood boils with this spicy sauce. And then you can get rice on the side. And it's like this huge table full of just like food. So I'm really excited to go tonight. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> This is 
is gonna be my breakfast. I'm actually, I'm getting ready for an event at the moment and I need to get changed really quick too, but this is my makeup situation. My hair looks crazy, I need to do that as well. But I've got a long black sleeve and then I also have this skirt, which is really cute. And I'm gonna be wearing it with my little baggie because I want an all black theme tonight. I wasn't gonna wear black, but I feel like I honestly have nothing else and I have a greasy hair day. So I'm like, you know what? This is gonna work for today. Also, this is a Chanel vent, which is gonna be really cool. So random, but like it's, I'm going to this thing and um, I don't know anyone there. My mom's going with friends and I'm pretty sure I'm just fourth wheeling because she was like, I have friends coming, so you can leave whenever you want. And I was like, okay, then wait, why do you want me to come? Today is just one of those days where I'm just taking it easy and just letting myself be. So this is a big rut day. Nubbles. Nubbles. Cheeks are so chubby, honey. Oh, he's going to sleep. Nubbles has learned how to beg for food now, so she'll literally just cry for food when she's hungry. She'll be like, like that's literally the sound she makes. I'm popping in real quick to thank today's sponsor, U Foods. U Foods is a meal subscription plan and they send freshly made meals to your door every week. You can pick and choose different meal options that they have. They change it up every week. That's been really fun for me. I've been using them for the past month and I am a huge fan of food subscription services, in particular meals, because I don't have time to cook and sometimes I'm just too lazy to cook. For me, grocery shopping can be a hassle. I also tend to overspend because I never stick to my list. I can't track my food intake, especially being back at the gym and sometimes I just get tired of cooking so you foods has been my savior they have an ever-changing menu as well so you're not gonna get bored they also have a bunch of snacks and drinks that I thought was really great as well something to note they work with local farmers to bring the best and freshest meals with top quality protein and products if you guys want to try you foods as well you can get up to $200 off your first box which I'm gonna have a discount code and link in the description for you guys and on screen so be sure to check that out and use that and you can save so much. If you're a new sign up or if you've had a 90 day break, you can use this code. Thank you so much again to you foods and back to the vlog. I'm having another chicken penne today. This is only 489 calories and I'm calorie counting at the moment because I'm back at the gym, but I have been like on and off at the gym, but I'm actually back at the gym now like properly and I'm going through a program. I'm doing the move with us program. I'm gonna do some scrapbooking today to de-stress. I've been finding or oh, trying to find a hobby, but I haven't been successful in finding my hobby. So I guess this is one of my hobbies. These are all of the photos that I've taken. I took a bunch of these on like a trip. Like this was in Bali when I was staying on an island at the villa. So I'm gonna be arranging all these by event. Oh my God, these are all from Bali. Oh my God. <gasps> I posted these on Instagram like a while ago and I love this photo, that's me. I was in Korea like a while ago and I bought a bunch of scrapbooking things. So I got a bunch of stickers, I got all of these. I'm such a big sticker collector so this is like a big deal. Oh my God, this one, this one's a cat one. I got this for, I don't know why I got this. I think I was gonna write this for Valentine's Day but I literally lost this entire bag for the whole year so. should post these actually if you don't already scrapbook or anything like i highly recommend it oh gosh my albums are so far up there oh that is so heavy let me see if i can go through this one with you guys like this is me when i turned like 20 or was it 19 i can't remember 20 i turned 20 this year 
these are my birthday photos from like literally two years ago tell me this is not so disco and amazing like look at that i was so into taking photos i still am just like i'm so not bothered anymore but like i was very bothered like look at this girl she was so bothered these ones as well if anything, I'll say my makeup has improved over the years because I actually try a lot harder when it comes to like technique and stuff. And it's actually very important. Like even the way you apply things, the way you contour, like I don't know why it took me a while to like click. I was like, I can't just do it like rushed. I actually have to like take care in doing it because just I'm not that girl, you know, like I actually have to take time to do it. Otherwise, it just doesn't look right. I just did my hair at home. <laughs> Grab this camera from the car. I've just been laying in bed and watching Barbie movie like clips from the movie and I'm literally crying. I don't know why. I like the movie's not even out yet. I already pre-booked my tickets and I am like seriously so beyond excited for this. Sorry. That's some deep cleaning. Mitch, you can sleep on the bed too. No joke, these cuts are like my babies, guys. If you're wondering what eyelashes I use, by the way, I use these ones. I get them from YesStyle. I'll link them down below. I'll link all my makeup down below, actually, and everything that I use. But um, these eyelashes, they are something else. They're very, like, Barbie-like, and they're, like, nicely spaced out, which is why I like them. Some of the ones I used to use, they were, like, a bit too dense, but these ones are, like, a bit spidery. So you actually have a good amount of volume. I actually have to go pick up Clint soon. So <laughs> I'm gonna go grab my keys. Also, oh my God, I have a little haul actually before I go. And also some updates. First of all, I'm not currently at uni. So I was back in first term and I know I've been on and off, on and off. And it's been really tricky because basically I feel like I've had like a taste of freedom and because I've just been like working and I, I think a lot of people confuse like what I do. I do a multitude of things. I'm just like a content creator across the board. And I feel like at this point in time, I've just been like really burnt out on doing everything that I just want to break. I feel like I can't concentrate because I just want to focus on working. Um, and also just because I feel like it's just I went into a degree that I felt like I didn't actually love and I didn't know that initially because how are you supposed to know and this is a whole like issue that I have with uni is that they expect you to know what you want to do after you graduate but who knows what they want to do so I literally didn't know what I should have done and then when I picked what I picked I look back down and I'm like oh my god if I could go back to tell my 18 year old self like to choose a degree I'd be like don't pick this one this is your sign to reconsider things to reflect on what is actually meaningful and purposeful in your life because sometimes if something isn't working for you or sometimes if you have another calling i think 
it's your sign to like take action on that because you don't have to do what everybody else is doing you can excel in your own way and there's so many different options in life and just nothing is a straight arrow take my advice guys i feel like ever since i hopped off of everyone's bandwagon and what everybody else around me was doing i just thrived that was a very unintentional pep talk because i was actually just about to show you guys a little haul because i got some pr i went to an event it was the chanel event they gave us a magazine as well, which was so cool. This is the box that I got. Two perfume samples. And then we got two Chanel number no. one. What is this? Revitalizing serums. They just look like this. And also a Chanel lip gloss. I mean, lipstick. I ate my burger too quick, but I went out to go get the Barbie collaboration burger. And it's all gone. I didn't even show you guys in time. It also comes with pink mayonnaise. Anyways, Clint and I are watching a K-drama now. King of the land. 